two, one. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the special simulcast of the Neil Haley Show and the Love Is Podcast. I'm excited to welcome the host of the Love Is Podcast, Kim Sorrell. Kim, how are you? I know you're very, very excited about our guest, especially when you already went to the theaters for The Chosen, so you know this person really well. Yes, I do. I feel like we're best friends, actually, Yasmin. Yasmin? Oh, yeah, totally, Kim. <laughs> yeah, great. And and I go to Texas sometimes, so I can come and see you. So you were raised in Texas. And you have so many gifts that make you such an incredible actress. You can fake burp. Michael yeah. Scott is your spirit animal, which I don't know who he isn't the spirit animal of, but he's yours. And <laughs> um, you like hummus and brisket, which two things you never see in a sentence together. Yeah. And yeah. Irish music and um, lived in Jordan, one of my favorite countries. I love Jordan. Anyway, you are so multifaceted, a degree in finance. You are an incredible actress. Every role that you're in is so unique and so different. And so nobody can pigeonhole you. You can do it all. And I'm just so impressed with you. And I love, love, love Rayma. Love the character of Rayma. And you do such an incredible job with her. What is it like for you to play Rayma? It's a dream that I didn't know I had, really, until until I, I played her and continue playing her and continue living in her and also realizing sometimes the things that she teaches me without even realizing it until the time comes. But she's she's such a ray of sunshine and she has taught me to follow my gut more or even made me want to follow my gut more. Um, and she just has this gusto about her that I, I really admire that I try to bring into my life as well. And so she's she's just basically, she's been a teacher to me. You know, it's interesting when you talk about the opportunity to be in The Chosen. How did that, how did that, how did that start? How did you get the opportunity to audition and everything for The Chosen? It came through, cause we shoot in Dallas and I have a Texas agent. So it came through my Texas agent, Linda. And um, I actually auditioned for Eden first. And then who is played amazingly by Lada and love her. And she, she does an incredible job. And then um, that went to, to Lada. And then I got a video audition request for Rayma. And so I was, I was like looking up, I'm like, who is Rayma? I have no idea who she is. Um, and so that's how it came. I just did a, I did a videotaped audition, sent it in, got it. And then was off to Dallas, Texas to film The Chosen. Awesome. Yeah, well, it's so cool. It had to be a little difficult to figure out who Rayma is. I mean, you've really, you've developed the character, you've made the character because there's not a historical Rayma. And so uh, it had to be a little unique, I would think, compared to people that are, there's a lot written about, right? Like how, how did right. that go for you? It's, um, it was definitely a collaboration. Well, Rayma was created by by our writers, Dallas, Tyler, and Ryan. And I think they just did such a phenomenal job at at creating Rayma. And I that was basically that was my, my material. What was the script and the the intricacies they took in all the details of of who she is as a person. Um and then also they are just they're so readily available for us. We can we can have these conversations, we can collaborate. They're always open to to thinking up ideas of who the characters are, what they're thinking, what they're going through. So it was a combination, it's the writers. It really was just them being so open to me and also them just being so creative and making it an important point to to yes, even though we do don't know who she is historically and there aren't any things that that depict her or mention her she definitely feels like she is she is she should be somewhere like sometimes if I'm reading scripture I'm just like I Rama should be here Rama totally she's like in this little group right now mm -hmm. wow you know yeah. and and you learn about being getting to be create a character it's a lot of fun right as an actress just be able to kind of look into the character how the character should be developed and you really make it right based on your acting and that's what probably you've learned as an actor is you have to make that character come to life yeah yeah and again testament to the writing of i didn't feel like i had to work too hard at creating something i mean you know just being i i felt like i could just easily just slip into rayma's shoes 
because they just did such a phenomenal job at creating a character. So testing your to relationship. Their yeah. And the way you portray your relationship with Thomas is hysterical. You are so funny on the show, by the way. I mean, I, I love it that there's humor in the show and you are one of the funniest ones on the show. <laughs> and, um, you. you know, I love the Thomas is just so nervous all the time. You just, you're so beautiful. I think your beauty just makes him nervous, but, but he is nervous all the time. Is it, it's, um, I don't know. What do you, what do you think? Yeah. Of that? Like, no, it's, it's a fun, chemistry. I love it. I absolutely love it. And it's all, it's fun to play. And uh, yeah, the dichotomy of all of that and the, the opposites of it, it's, and he and Joey who plays Thomas, he just does it so well. Um, but it's been, it's been nice to be part of a project that I feel like a lot of people would think should be serious, whatever that means, uh, to incorporate humor into it. I just feel like that's such a big part of The Chosen that you can, I know for me personally, I like to have very difficult conversations through humor. I'm not trying to like not talk about things. I just feel like it creates, uh, a layer that makes things more digestible right and i love that that the writers have incorporated that and i think that's again testament to to the writing it just shows what kind of people they are because they're the same way like we can joke around and they are they're they're sarcastic everyone has different senses of humor but we we don't shy away from talking about heavy things but it doesn't mean it has to be heavy heavy you know, when you think about specifically enough, this growth of The Chosen, I remember when I first, Kim and I started interviewing people from The Chosen, and now where it is, Kim never could imagine that. We had Dallas on the show, you know, imagine some of these things that have happened since in such a quick time. Where, How excited are you to be a part of something like this? It, it's got to feel so fantastic, and especially now where you can't say anything with it in theaters because other people are going to stream it after they go to th some people that didn't go to the theaters and how mm -hmm. it developed. It's got to be amazing to be part of something this amazing. It's in, it's incredible. It's something, especially when you're not thinking of where something's going to You would hope, you know, people, there are eyes on a project that you're working on and I mean, the the hope that I had for the chosen was, oh man, I really, I really hope people see this and some somehow come across the app, and watch the chosen on their, their on their devices. And I just was never, especially, I just you don't hear about a series going to theaters. So already last season, whenever we were showing the a couple of episodes, not the whole season. Uh, for season three in theaters, that already was mind blowing to me. And the fact that now for season four, we're showing all of the episodes in theaters. I just think it's crazy. That when I, yeah, when I took the job <laughs> in season one and submitted a tape, was not thinking, oh, this is totally going to go to theaters. Complete opposite. Right. I was I was just like, I just hope people see this. All right. <laughs> OK, so you could check out season four of The Chosen in theaters uh appreciate it thanks again yes yes mean thanks appreciate it, guys thank all right you guys yeah, all right thanks thank you. all right thank that you. was a special thank summer you. cast the neil haley show and the love is podcast guys take care